Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Academic English, where I teach intermediate and advanced level lessons for English learners who want to be successful in school and work. Today, I'm talking about a tricky topic for so many people, how to make small talk in English. So I've been teaching English to English learners immigrants and people overseas for more than 20 years. And in my experience, I have found that for many English learners, it's really hard to make small talk in English. And this is for a couple of reasons. First of all, we all know that having a conversation in another language is really hard. There are so many things that you have to do. You have to think about the grammar, vocabulary, think about your pronunciation, pay attention to what the person is doing. Is the person listening? Does the person understand you? Then you have to listen to what the person is saying. Sometimes you don't understand everything. It's a really hard task. But then, if you add the task of making small talk, it becomes even more difficult. Why? Because when we make small talk, it's usually with someone that we don't know very well. And it can be kind of an awkward situation because it's someone we don't know and we're trying to find something to say to that person. Even for native speakers, making small talk is not easy. Also, cultural differences. There are many differences in cultures and how people make small talk or what topics are considered appropriate for small talk. So doing it in English, especially in an English speaking country, can be very difficult. But it is important because Americans love to make small talk. That is something that a lot of people notice when they come here. They notice that Americans will talk to them on the street or when they go to the supermarket, the cashier will have a conversation with them about the weekend or what happened yesterday. So Americans love to make small talk, but it's not easy. Let's look at some strategies that you can use to make small talk more easily. Before we get started, I'd like to remind you to please give this video a like and leave a comment if you find it helpful and make sure that you're subscribed if you want more videos like this one. So first, let's talk about some general guidelines for making small talk in English. First of all, you want to find something that you and the other person have in common. What is something that you share? This could be the place where you live. It could be your neighborhood. It could be the weather. That's something that we often talk about. It could be a situation like a holiday that is coming up or a famous sporting event that a lot of people are thinking about. For example, recently the Olympics were on TV and I made small talk with people about whether or not they were watching the Olympics. So find something that you have in common that's usually the easiest way to make small talk and especially to have the small talk be successful where you and the other person find something that you share. Next, sound positive. Try not to say things like, oh, I don't like the food here, or oh, the weather is just so bad today. Try to find something positive that both of you will want to continue the conversation. Next, avoid offending someone. So this is obvious, but there are a lot of differences in what people find offensive. Americans usually try to sound positive and we try to avoid any kind of language that could offend someone. Okay, next, number four, don't get too personal. We have some topics that we avoid talking about unless the person is a very close friend or family member. So we avoid religion, politics, age, so we don't ask someone how old they are or we don't make comments about how old the person looks, weight, we don't talk about other people's bodies, and money, we don't like to ask people how much they paid for something, how much their house cost, how much their car cost, how much money they make. Money and those other topics are considered taboo. We don't talk about them with people whom we don't know well. So those are considered not appropriate for small talk. And finally, another question that you can often hear is, what do you do? This is a common question that you can hear when people make small talk. What does it mean? 
What do you do means what do you do for a living? What is your job? So if you hear someone say, what do you do? You can tell them, I'm a lawyer, I'm a student, I am a teacher, I'm a nurse, etc. And the other thing I want to mention about this question is that it's considered a little bit old-fashioned now. The younger generations don't ask this question as often, so you might not hear it as often, or you might hear it more with older people. And finally, show active listening. When you are making small talk, it's very important to show that you're listening and to respond appropriately. So when someone is saying something, you could say, oh, really? Or that's great. Wow. If you hear something surprising, wow. Oh. Or at the end of the conversation, don't forget to wrap it up by saying something like, nice chatting with you. Or nice to meet you. Be careful with this one because nice to meet you is only used when you meet the person for the first time. We never use this with someone whom we've already met before. Nice to meet you is only when you see and talk to a person for the first time. If it's a person whom you've already met before, then you can say nice to see you. So again, find something like that to wrap up the conversation. If the other person says it first, you can say, you too. Okay, so let's move on to some topics. How can we start small talk with someone? Well, first, if we are at school, one of the things that we can think about is what do we have in common? You and your classmates have homework and tests in common. So at the beginning of class, you can sit next to someone and you can say, did you finish the homework? Or how was the homework? Or what did you think of the homework? And the other person might say, oh, it was okay. It was pretty easy. How about you? And you can say, oh yeah, it was pretty good, but there was one question I got stuck on. And then you guys can talk about that question. Tests, same thing. After you take a test, you can say to your classmate, how was the test? Or what did you think of the test? And that person would then give their overall impression of the test. Was it hard? Was it easy? Was it okay? Another thing you want to think about with tests is, is it okay for you to ask someone their score or their grade on a test? So in the U.S., our culture is pretty private. We don't like to share a lot of personal information. And so in this situation, it might not be appropriate to ask someone, what was your score? Or what grade did you get on the test? It is also considered rude for you to look at the person's test. We never do this. And it's very important to respect the other person's privacy. So if the teacher gives back the tests, you're going to look at your test, but you're not going to look at a classmate's test. But it is okay to ask something general like, how did you do on the test? And the other person will usually answer with something more general like, oh, I did pretty well, or mm, I didn't do too well. How about you? Again, that will give you the opening to talk about the test more. You can say, oh, I did well on the first part, but on the second part, I had some mistakes. For example, and then you can talk about some parts of the test that were hard for you. That will help you keep the conversation going. Okay, next. Another topic that you guys have in common as classmates is your classes or your major. For example, you could ask your classmate, what other classes are you taking this semester? What other classes are you taking? Oh, you're taking English, me too. Who's your professor? Okay, so you can ask that and again, find some questions that you can continue the conversation to help the conversation keep going. How about major? You can ask the person, what's your major? That's a very common question for college and university students. People love to talk about their majors. When you ask, you can say, what's your major? And the person will say, oh, my major is biology or psychology. And you can say, oh, I've heard that that's a really interesting major. Or I took a psychology class once. It was really interesting. And of course, you can talk about your major too. 
Another thing you can do is you can talk about the future. You can ask someone, what classes are you going to take next semester? Or have you chosen your classes for next semester yet? And then talk about what classes you might want to take. Give each other some tips. And finally, vacation plans. College students love to talk about their vacations. It's the time of the year when they have time off from school. It's time to relax and go have fun. So in the U.S., we usually have three big vacations. We have spring break, which happens in March or April. And this is one week that students have off. And usually they will go do something fun, go on some kind of trip, or they might go home and spend the week with their family. Another vacation that we have is summer break. And this is the long vacation, two or three months. And that is a time when people usually will go home and live with their family and work for the summer or live somewhere else and work or maybe travel. And finally, another vacation that we have is called winter break. And this is usually two to four weeks after Christmas. So this might start around like December 20 and go into January. And again, people will usually have some interesting plans for those vacations. So when those vacations are coming, it's very common for people to ask each other, what are your plans for the break? Or what are your plans for summer? Very common question and it's something that people enjoy talking about. All right, let's move on then and talk about how we can make small talk at work. And one of the things you want to think about with work is that the days of the week are sort of important. So if it's Monday, what are you going to talk to your coworkers about? Talk to them about what they did over the weekend. You can say, good morning, happy Monday. How was your weekend? Or did you do anything fun over the weekend? Did you do anything fun over the weekend? Or if it's Thursday, it's getting closer to the weekend, you can say, do you have any fun plans for the weekend? Doing anything special for the weekend? Okay, next, work projects. So anything that you guys have in common about work, projects that you're working on, meetings that you are attending, trainings that you are doing, any changes in work that affect both of you, Certainly those could be topics that you could talk about. How's that project going? Let me know if you need any help. Did you attend the last meeting? And you can talk about something that happened at the meeting. And again, remember that you want to try to sound positive. Don't, you know, say negative things about your boss or bad things about the job. A lot of people will do this. And if someone else starts it, then you can engage in that conversation. But in general, for small talk at work, you want to avoid negativity. All right, finally, in other situations, so this could be at the supermarket, at the dentist, at the doctor's office, um, at the neighborhood park, at school, maybe talking to other parents at school if you have kids. And these can be many other situations. We love to talk about holidays. So think about holidays that are coming up. If it is the end of December, that means that New Year is coming. If it is the last week of June, that means that July 4th, Independence Day, is coming. So you can ask someone, do you have plans for the holiday? Or you can say the name of the holiday. Do you have plans for New Year's Eve? Or you can say, are you ready for Halloween? And that would be a way that we would talk about something that we have in common, which is celebrating or preparing for the holiday. Sports. If there is a sports team in your city, so for example, if you move to the U.S. and you live near San Francisco, you might talk about the 49ers, the football team. Did you watch the big game? Or are you watching the Olympics? Or do you watch the World Cup? and then talk about some sports events. This is kind of hit and miss. You know, some people don't like to watch sports, but for people who enjoy watching sports, it's a great topic for small talk. And Americans usually 
really enjoy watching sports. They will have like a hometown team that they like to root for. And especially with men, they love to talk about football. So that's a good topic for small talk. Okay, next, the weather. The weather is something that everyone has in common. And so you can say something like, oh, it's such a beautiful day today. Or the weather has been so nice lately. So you can talk about the weather. It's not the most interesting topic, but it's very common. And finally, travel, going back to vacation plans. If there is a holiday or like a kind of break coming up, people will often ask you what you're gonna do for that vacation time, or they might ask you what you did in the past. For example, if you go to the dentist after the winter break, they will often ask you, did you do something fun? Uh, over the Christmas holidays. People love to talk about their trips. So you can say, oh, I went to San Diego. Oh, how was it? I love San Diego. Did you go to the zoo, etc." I will leave many examples that I mentioned in today's video down in the description box below. Please let me know if you have any questions and I would love to hear from you. What strategies do you use to make small talk in English or how do you find small talk in English? Is it difficult? And let me know. Take care and I hope to see you back here soon.